Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through a practice GED math word problem. Now, the thing you got to keep in mind here is that this is uh, video four of a five part video series. So you're here, go ahead and watch this video, but somewhere in this video, there's a link where you can click on and it'll take you to this actual playlist. So you can go back and watch videos one, two, and three, and then five when it's available. So there's five videos here of me walking you through step-by-step -step through GED practice math problems. Now, all Let's right, here in. we go. Now we're gonna jump into a little thorny concept here. Um, so here is what we call a quadratic equation. And uh, I'm not going to get into definitions of that because that's not the, really the purpose of this video. I'm really more just showing you how to do something. Now, if you want to go in depth, then, you know, Google this or go to my videos and look for more in-depth explanations of quadratics and polynomials and so on. But again, that's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this video is just to walk you through how to do it. And so the, the question here is how to solve for x. Okay, so here we have 5x squared minus 25x plus 20 equals 0. So the very first thing that we're going to do uh, here is we're going to go ahead and simplify this and we're going to take a 5 out. And, you know, if you've been working with me, you know about this uh, idea of greatest common factor. What's the biggest number that goes equally into all of these numbers? OK, so you're going to take that five out. So five divided divides in five uh, X squared. And that's going to leave us just X squared. And then five goes into twenty five X five times. So that's just going to leave us minus five X. And then five goes into twenty four times. And that's just going to leave us four okay and so now uh, and then that's going to give us equals zero okay so now the next thing we're going to do here is uh, <clears throat> is we're going to continue to do what we call factor and so factor basically means setting up two parentheses that are still equal to zero okay and on this side we're going to say X and x and now you have to know a little bit about the distributive property of math and again i'm not going in that deep in it i'm just showing you how to do this so because x and x go here because when it distributes x times x is going to give us x squared because the number times itself is you know the squared is what we're talking about here um and then we're going to look at this number four and we're going to think about okay what can we do with this number four um, to make it um, to make it come out to be a positive four, but at the same time give us this minus five x. So what we're going to do is we're going to say minus one and minus four, okay? Because x times x is x squared. X times minus four is minus four. And then one, one minus one, minus one times x is another minus one that gives us that minus four x plus that minus one x that gives us that minus five x we're looking for. And then finally, minus one times minus four, a negative times a negative is a positive, gives us that positive four, that x squared gives us the x times x gives us that x squared and so that's how we get back in factor so we know that this factor is true and again i'm not going in depth here i'm just showing you how to do it so then we're going to set both of these because it has two solutions so we're going to because it's squared so each x has a solution uh whoop let me erase that so we're going to set that equal to zero and then our x minus four we're going to set that equal to zero. And so, you know, if you've been working with me, you're going to uh, add a one to that side and add a one to that side. So we want to isolate X and get X equals one. And if you've been working with me again, we're going to add four to that side. We just do the opposites, combine like terms, do the opposites, perform the operation, get your answer. X equals four. So the solution here is a two solutions, one and four, and you see right here, ding, 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 ding. We have our correct answer again. So I know I run through this concept pretty 
quickly and I know plenty of you are gonna look at this and still have questions but I'm just trying to show you how to do it and so we first thing we did was we pulled a 5 out uh, of that uh, 5 uh, X minus 25 X plus 20 and then we went ahead and factored it and then you know this is video so you can go ahead and rewind it as much as you need so again if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up at the bottom of this video. Go ahead and like it. And also, if you like what I teach and if you like how I teach and how I prepare people to get ready for the GED test, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Illinois Nomad Video. Click on that button down there that allows you to subscribe. When you subscribe, you will know when my latest videos are coming out. You'll get them uh, right when they come out so you don't have to wonder what what new do I have, you know, what's the next thing I'm talking about. Again, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant.